Hey guys, welcome back to Fixing Blind. So today I'm gonna to do a one year review on the EcoWorthy inverter here. Okay, so here she is. Oop. It's a 3,500 watt, 48 volt inverter, okay? This thing powers everything. Vacuum cleaners, compressor, it'll run the air conditioning with a vacuum cleaner at the same time, which I find is really awesome. Um, there is no issues with it that I've had so far. The only issue that I had originally was their customer service wasn't that great, but they have since changed that and their customer service is, is a lot better. There's still a language barrier, but I mean, that's to be expected. But for a Chinese inverter, this thing is fantastic. I highly recommend it. It's 3000 watts. It can start up to 7,000 watts. And I mean, it has no, no, no problems doing so. Now, it is not the most efficient inverter, right? Because it's a low frequency inverter, so it can have that higher surge power. I, I knew that going into it, that it was a, a low frequency inverter, and that's what I wanted. That's what I wanted because I needed that higher surge load, okay? Now, the fans do get a little bit loud when it's hot, right? Because it, it needs that airflow. But right now, there's no, no noise from the fans because it's cool and, and they're not on. Now, the only downside to this inverter isn't the inverter itself. It's the stupid lead acid batteries that I have. Um, I need to get some lithium batteries. Viewers have any recommendations on good 48 volt batteries. I need about 20 kilowatt hours of batteries. So um, it's gonna be, you know, slowly building up to it and replacing my, my uh, lead acids. But the lead acids just suck. This thing can put out 80 amps total, which I believe is 40 amps on your grid putting into it and 40 amps on your solar putting into it and most of the time my batteries will only accept 15 amps at the most usually around 10 and so my panels out there will put out about 20 amps coming into it and if the batteries are low enough they'll take that but when they're you know three quarters full or you know they, they won't take the juice and so it's just wasted so it just waste my panels it makes the batteries take forever to charge and top up and i just i hate the lead acids so if I were you guys, don't buy, don't buy lead acid batteries. My battery box is out here, it got smashed by a tree. But uh, this inverter will do lithium, it'll do lead acid, it'll do any kind of batteries you need it to do. I highly recommend it. I'll put a link in the description for it. You guys have seen my, my first video on it. This is one year into using it, and this thing gets used every day. So this is an off-grid tiny house, and it is powered 100% of the time, 24-7, by solar there is a generator as a backup but the generator goes from outside goes into the inverter and then charges the batteries from there but yeah if you guys are looking for a good off-grid inverter and you only need 110 volt this thing is fantastic anyway guys thanks for watching give her a check out go check the links out